On this Money Saving Monday, chances are your kids have their own money, whether it's through their allowance, from gifts, or their generous family members, aka grandparents. But how do you actually prepare your kids to handle their money? Financial consultant Greg Merced joins me now to get your kids ready. Greg, great to have you once yeah, again. Good to be back. All right, so out of the gate, let's just explain why is it so important to teach kids to manage money at a young age. This is the thing that they're going to use their entire life, always making decisions but let's think about it the nature of money has completely changed yeah it used to be this stuff okay? right the good old piggy bank yeah you know envelopes i mean we've got a garbage we gotta, can. Okay, we're just out garbage. with the old okay in with the new okay? all right envelopes no way jar with coins i had to search high and low to find these so, quarters i was gonna say okay. any coins these yeah, days yeah out yeah. okay oh, we're out. throwing those out okay. And the piggy bank. The My old kids fashion. still have a piggy yeah, bank. No, no, no. It's got to go. Really? Okay, yeah. Okay. Nowadays, it's invisible money. It's, yes. It's just credit cards. It's just yeah. numbers on a screen. Right. We've got to change the way we teach them. Okay, so let's do that. We've got six ways to teach your kids to manage money. The first step, you say introduce the value of money. What do you mean by that? Okay, chores and allowance is a great start. Mm -hmm. okay, you've got to get the work and money connection going. Yes. They've got to understand, oh, I do stuff and then I earn money. Okay. Once you get that connection going, then they can start understanding the value of money. Okay, next one, explain invisible money. Is that invisible what you just alluded yes. to? Yes, okay, yeah. so this is the thing. Money is invisible now, so they don't see it. And if we don't teach them, they're gonna think, oh, just get your card out, mom. Right. There's an endless supply of this money. Yes. This is a problem, okay? This is why we get into one trillion dollars of debt. Yeah. Okay. No so kidding. you've got to eradicate that and let them understand invisible money and how it works. That it's still real money. It's real money. Yeah. And it's just little numbers on a screen now. Right. But it's real. Exactly. Okay, number three, stress being balanced. A balanced financial approach. If you just let your kids earn it and burn it, you're yeah. not doing them any favors. Yeah. Okay? They have to balance their financial approach, which is every time they, they earn money, they've got to save and invest a little bit. Mm -hmm. Then they've got to share with charity or church or something. Okay. And then they spend the rest. Yes. Saving, sharing, and spending. Okay, so let me throw that something That is a balanced you. approach. Let's just say they have $10. How much should they share, save, and invest? This is a great this is a great question. They should be uh, saving a lot more when they're living in your, host, your home because they're freeloading. Okay. okay? <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> You're spending all your money to, you know, all the stuff yeah. that they need. So I think when they're, when they're younger, they should be saving 50, 60% of their oh. money. Okay. And then giving or sharing about 10% and then spending the rest. Oh, very good. Okay, so then next you say emphasize saving, which you just did. Yes. You got to save more. Save. You yes. got to do it every time. If you get out of the rhythm, you're going to be like, eh, I like blowing it. And then it just doesn't happen. Right. And then you say number five, kids learn from parents. We yes. better be setting a good example. Okay, <laughs> like it or not, we are the examples, right? Yeah. And they're going to see what we're doing. And if we're going out and we're like blowing money on fancy restaurants right. and have a big, huge car payment yeah. and all this stuff, yeah. they're going to see that and pick it up. And if we say, oh, you're not supposed to do that, you're not supposed to do that, that do as I say, not as I do, yeah. eh, it doesn't really work that well. Right. So my parents, they always bought a used car and they paid cash. Yes. What do you think I did? Yes, okay? so did mine. So yeah. I hope you have jumper cables. I might need to jump after this. Okay. <laughs> no <laughs> kidding. Okay. Right? okay. Yes. Jeez. Finally, the last tip, let them practice. What do you mean by that? Okay. Getting good at managing money takes practice. Mm -hmm. Okay. And so you got to let them practice. And the earlier, this, the earlier you start, the better. Um, and give them opportunities to do this stuff. Right. Um, it's not going to be something that they just pick up. You've got to give it. I would much rather them have like buyer's remorse, right? We all know yes. what that feels like. I yes. would much rather them have that with a $20 toy than a $200 pair of shoes or a $20,000 car. Right. Okay? Let them practice. And I once like you, that. you know, practice makes you smarter. Mm -hmm. Start small, Especially very small. Yeah, yes. no kidding. Okay, right. so great tips. Thank you so much.